series two we introduced exponents and radicals so let's take a look at how exponents and radicals how we can incorporate that with the equal sign right let's say we have something starting off really simple let's say we have x squared is equal to eight now again we want to get if they say solve for this the question would be solve simple thing say solve for this question so to get rid of the squared we have to take the square root of it right so what you end up doing if you want to get if you want to get x by itself is take the square root of one side and you got to take the square root of the other side right now square root of x squared again this is series 2 should also be x plus square root of x plus two, two, one, one. so this becomes x is equal to square root of 8 if you're going to reduce this to, uh, to its lowest terms, you have to break it up into its prime trees, right? So if you like, I'll break up to this square root of the front, so this becomes 2 square root of 2. Okay, so for this one, the answer is just going to be x is equal to 2 square root 2. Now, I'm not going to continue to go over this stuff, okay? How you reduce radicals and, you know, exponents if you put a uh, how you, yeah, and how you put it, you know, the number here goes into the denominator. Again, if you haven't seen this stuff, and this, is, this stuff just usually is one of the main stoppers, main things that stop people from progressing on in mathematics. So if you don't know this, seriously go back in series two and look at that stuff and do a lot of examples because this is, you know, the next step up from addition and subtraction and multiplication division, okay? So again, if you have x squared, you want to get, you want to isolate the x. You take the square root on both sides. You got to take, you know, square root of eight becomes two square root of two. So x is equal to two. Uh, x is equal to two square root of two. Let's go take a look at, uh, you know, a little bit more complicated stuff and add a radical in there as well. Okay. So we did x squared is equal to 8. We solved for that. We found out that was 2 squared root 2. Let's do a radical, in the, you know, a single radical and see what we do to isolate the variable if we have a radical or something, okay? The root of something. So let's say you had, let's say you had, let's say you had the cube root of 3 is equal to, th uh, cube root of x is equal to 3. And again, you want to get the x by itself, right? Now the simplest way to do this, if you're dealing with radicals, is to change them to powers, okay? To change them to an exponent. So an exponent, you grab the three, bring it to the uh, denominator of the power, so this just becomes x to the power of one-third is equal to three, right? Now, you haven't done anything to this. You haven't reduced anything. All you've done is rewrite the radical as a power. Now, the way you get rid of this what you need to do is do the opposite in the power, right? Now that's one over three. And if you want to do the opposite of one over three, to get rid of one over three, you multiply it by three over one. So what you can do in the power, take this to another power. And that's another way of saying how you get rid of exponents and radicals. You're just dealing with exponents and you're doing the flip of it, the inverse of it in the power. So that's one over three. You take this to the power of 3 over 1, right? So you got to take this to the power of 3 over 1. 1 third times 3 over 1. The 3 in the top kills the 3 in the bottom. So this just becomes x. Becomes x, right? And 3 to the power of 3 over 1 is just 3 cubed. 3 cubed is going to be 27. And that's the final answer for this one. Now, you know, we're going to do a little bit more complicated problems with this and, you know, start introducing, um, you know, both addition and subtraction into the equation and multiplication and division. So what we're going to end up doing is working our way into harder and harder and larger and larger problems. And, you know, in the end, we'll end up doing what gigantic, ugly problem, and, you know, solving for the x to find out what it means. Okay. So let's do a combination of these uh, expressions that we've dealt with and see how we can reduce, start reducing things, reducing, reducing or solving larger expressions okay? or larger problems, solving larger problems, solving larger problems.